So y'all had to do two shots of tequila to even kiss her because we, we, we grew up like not, like we grew up like for real like family. For real, everybody everybody be like, hey, I was kissing Mike and good, bro. I'm like, I'm like, bro, that's my family for real. So- Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I'm, I'm the guy, bro. I be in the crib. People be like, do you still dance? I used to be like, nah, but I be dancing. Like <laughs> I be Nigga, crib, tell I be me you the, can't. Man, I be in the serious? crib busting hardest, Boy, sweating like listen, a mother. Listen, man, let me say something, man. This movie come on at my house periodically. <laughs> my kids... Uh, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm, sick. I'm I'm tired of the dang movie. Man, this that's nigga funny. dancing, hey, bro. Hey, bro, something, something hit me a couple weeks, uh, about two months ago. I was sitting in my living room and the spirit of Joe Jackson came into my living room. The ghost of Joe Jackson. Uh-uh. He said, get your ass up, boy. You can't miss a step. I start rehearsing. Nigga. I'm in my living room. <laughs> Bro. Just, nigga, not mess. Nigga, Bro. I'm trying to be perfect. Nigga, like. Wait a minute. I want to ask you about that movie. Remember this movie for a second. Now that you brought the dancing up. The Stump of the Yard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, how did you prepare for those parts? Do you just naturally dance? No man, let's, this is what I talk to when I talk to all these young um, people that want to be in this business, man. You know, it's I always it's titled preparation meeting your destination. So what do I mean by that? When I was seventeen, I went to performing arts high school. I was I was I was not I was a musical theater major. I was trained. I was doing real work as an actor. Yeah, you know I mean from before that, and I'm talking about not working in the business, but training because it's Michael Gladwell. Malcolm Gladwell, who wrote Outliers, he says it takes 10,000 hours to be a master of your craft. 10,000 hours, you break that down, that's 10 years, right? So you gotta work for 10 years before you can be a master. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, you gotta be grinding for 10 years to be a master or something, mm-hmm. right? A master blacksmith, you know what I mean? A master, you know, uh, illustrator, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever, whatever you wanna do. And so, boom, then I went from high school, I went to do Stomp. This Broadway show stop. Well, we had to. Oh, yeah. I had to learn how to use our bodies. I mean, I had to be use my body and, 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 and animated objects to make music, mm-hmm. right? So then, boom. Then I came off the of stomp and I started choreographing for Britney. So now I'm a, like I'm a choreographer, all this stuff. And then I got the opportunity. And you loved it all this time, I, all the time. I, all ago. everything, all of those things: acting, stomp, Britney. Stomp the yard. My preparation led you up met to that. My destination. Wow, dope. And it was That's easy. Cool. And it was easy. Easy. Easy breezy. You did an amazing job. Thank man, you, man. My everybody kids did. love it, man. Well, everybody mm-hmm. did an amazing job How, in that movie. Did you? So, did you know Chris Brown before that? No, no. But you know, we right before it because there was no way they were gonna give me the movie. So I had to. It was a lot of like Neil was my guy. Megan is my. I grew up with Megan. You grew up with Megan. Grew up. Grew up. Grew up. That's like sis, sis. Okay. okay. So y'all had to do two shots of tequila to even kiss her because we, we, we grew up like, not, like we grew up like for real, like family. For real. Everybody, everybody be like, hey, I was kissing Mike and good, bro. I'm like, I'm like, bro, that's my family for real. So yeah. it was weird, but we did it, and but you know everyone came around uh, and supported me in that move. Um, and I was forever grateful for it. Yeah, you did a and great And it was job. really like, I didn't get a chance to go to college, bro. You feel me? And living, doing the movie Regular. gave me a college uh, experience. experience. You know what I mean? And a real, like, well, Theta New Theta, I take serious. Did you mm-hmm. really want to, did you want to go to college? I or? did. I was, I was accepted to Juilliard. Okay. Uh, oh. Boston Conservatory, NYU, and, and Berkeley go. School of Music. Wow. wow. And Berkeley School of Music was where I was gonna go. So but what happened when you didn't go? I had to get out of my house, man. It was going, too much going on at the crib. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I had to go. And back then you still had a temper so, then? No, it had nothing to do with me. Oh, okay. I was a kid. I was a kid. I was 17. Mm. Had nothing to do with so my when mom. you left, where did you go? To Stomp. Oh. Yeah. He, he went, I left. I, I think you you made. I went it. on tour. But God okay. is something else, man. Because God, like I said, yo, yo, you, the way you explained it is just hit, man. Like everything lined out because yeah. you're, you know, steps of a good man are about a lot mm. anyway. The man already was walking in purpose, and mm. and we think we doing something a lot of times, and we just meet we ain't him. doing nothing. Exactly. 
I right. say that all the time. Right. Like it's like, man, we just we just need to just have faith, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what is faith? Faith without su- faith without so, what works is dead. What, okay. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> But what is faith? Faith is the substance, substance of, of things of, hoped for and the evidence of things, things not, not seen. seen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we have to walk blindly, right? Correct. Sometimes you got to leap into the proverbial void. Wow. Just so you can, just, like, you can't say you want something. You want something, but you scared to go get it. Mm-hmm. Scared to give up something for it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.